Hey there YouTube, it's Mac again. Uh here again with some more War Thunder. Uh I recently started going down the British line. And I've got to say, um the British fighters are insanely easier to fly and get kills with. Um in this video I'm flying the Hurricane 2. I get six kills and never get shot down. Uh, it's, it's not typical. Um, I typically do really well. I don't typically do this well. But uh, it wasn't hard. Uh, so, if you're new to these kind of games, and you're not like your heart's not set to like flying a specific nation. I know people are, especially Americans, can be like, oh, Americans best, all oh, for American planes, shit, but, you know, if you're not like that, and you're just like, if you're new, and you're kind of like, I'm kind of looking for, like, a, a beginner-friendly set of planes, go British, um, it's definitely probably the best way to go for rookie pilots, um, I mean, they, they got just about everything you need. Um, my one complaint, the one, the one thing I have against British planes is they're a bit slower. Like, this Hurricane Mark II, compared to some of the other planes of its tier, it's a bit slower. It's not much. There's, there's, there's the second kill of the day. I'm, I'm not even talking about the video right now, I'm just talking about British planes in general. The video will explain itself. Um, <laughs> That they're a bit slower than, except for like the Japanese planes, um, but not by much. Their speed does not hurt them at all. Really, they still perform the job of a fighter. The primary role of killing bombers, as we've seen, I've already shot down two. What was the first one a fighter? The first one was a five, I think. The first one might have been a fighter, but the second one was a bomber, and I damage that bomber. I leave it, let it go to go after this bomber here. It, it, it does this just fine. Um, the guns and fires are a little weak for the on the hurricane until you get to like the uh, the second Spitfire. I think is when you first get cannons on the fighters. The, the firepower is a little low. It's got 30 cals. It's got 12 of them though. The Hurricane Mark II has 12 goddamn 30 cals. Um, if you if you can hurt it when you shoot at it, you're gonna fucking kill it. <laughs> because that's a lot of fucking firepower. I mean, the round is weak, but when you are when you got 12 guns shooting it, you can't really complain. So the firepower is definitely top-notch. Especially for its tier. Tier 3! This is a level, this is a level 3 aircraft, and it's 12 guns. Which is ridiculous. Um... The handling, the maneuverability is amazing. You can turn fight just about anyone and expect to win in these British planes. The the defense, the armor, the the, the British planes are pretty durable. Um, they're definitely not American fighters, uh, but they pretty much they're really close. Um, I I've taken quite a beating and seen these planes take quite a beating before. And, uh, the, the, the survivability factor, combined with your maneuverability, and the firepower, and there, I just, I just downed another bomber, it took, it didn't take that much ammo at all. <laughs> like, he went down fast, I was surprised. Um, they got a good rate of climb, too. Uh, I think the Germans, like the 109s and stuff, have better rate of climb climb rate, and they have, like, more powerful engines than the British fighters, but the rate of climb isn't bad. Um, it's really just, they're good planes, and they're definitely very easy. It's a very easy way of dogfighting. Uh, here you see I come down on this guy. I kind of miss. I was going a bit too fast, but then I kind of circle around and pull up here, but then someone else shot him down I was looking for him. 
I was like, oh, he got shot down. He's that, he's that ball of fire right there. It's like, oh, well, that kind of ruins my fun. Then uh, I know, uh... I turn around here, I get to, like, a head-on with a I-16. He's coming around. He, here he comes. Who's this I-16 I get a head-on? <laughs> almost went down right there. We almost had a fucking head-on collision. Because I started pulling up. Because typically, in my experience, people just keep fucking going forward. So I pull up. But then, he also pulled up. <laughs> and <laughs> we almost hit each other by trying to dodge each other in the same direction. I just turned so fast and got back on his tail. And, uh, just shot him down. Um. It, it's really easy plane to fly. If you're a rookie, uh, go for this. Uh, it's the best way to get used to it. And, uh, it's pretty much the easiest way to dogfight. Uh, more advanced pilots. The, the American planes, the American planes are not rookie friendly. Um, they require special touch. And, uh, and the German planes a bit too. Uh, I don't know much about the Russian planes. I'll be honest, I've never really followed the Russian planes that much uh, in history or games and stuff. I, there's no except I have no real interest to fly the Russian planes. Um, so I don't know how they totally relate. I totally should. I should know how they relate because you know I have to fly against them all the time. But I know in a Spitfire, I can totally out or Hurricanes and these British planes. I can easily outturn these Russian planes, which is what I did here. And the problem when I was shooting is I ran out of bullets, so I had to wait for a reload. <laughs> that was my biggest problem. This game was managing my ammo to shoot down people fast enough. Um, I I had run out of ammo like when I after my first pass on that guy. The game ends. Uh, they're they're awesome planes to fly. Uh, I'll load up another replay here, hold it, because that was that happened so short. Uh, here's another one where I start out with the Hurricane Mark II. I die this time, okay? I get shot down. Um, with this map, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a new development, this is a new patch, is that they've actually got some like AI pilots on each team. Um. We had more AI pilots than the enemy team did. Um, they don't seem particularly that good. Uh, one did get the jump on me and had a decent shot at shooting me down because he just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I did not notice him at all. Um, but yeah, they don't seem that particularly good. Um, but I just dominate so much with the Hurricanes, the British planes, uh, that my team having more of these AI pilots than the enemy team didn't seem to really matter. Um, pretty much, uh, in this one, I head over to the enemy base. Like, here I'm, like, looking around for all their pilots, and I'm... I'm checking like tab to see like where the pilots are and I was like, oh look, there's AI pilots and shit. Well like, that's the second time I've noticed that. So I think it, it happens on this map regularly. Because I haven't really noticed it on any other map. Uh, and then I see all these planes over there and I was like, okay, well I'll notice that they haven't captured their base yet. And I was like, huh. I don't notice that no one's really lining up for it yet. I was like, I should fly over there, and then as soon as they try to take it, I'll fly down on them and shoot them down. So that's what I go do. I should be turning. Yep, right here. I'm turning. And then I start to notice that some, some guy's going for it. So I'm starting to make my dive right here. Yeah, see that little dot right there. He's coming in to capture it. He captures it. I don't. I don't get there fast enough to stop him from capturing it. But uh, he doesn't live. Boom. 
Took him out. So I don't know where this guy came from. But he was high and he dove down after me, chasing me. I was kinda surprised. And here we see that durability. That those hits didn't really do anything to me. Which is good, cause like I would gotten fucked up otherwise. There he I take his wing off with the fucking twelve thirty cows. And uh despite the fact that I'm kind of outnumbered badly, like an alley just uh flew past here, I think. Was there an alley? I remember there being an ally. Ah! He turns onto my ally's ass. You just my ally just came blazing in. But I with the handling, I just get right on this guy six again, like right away. And just shoot him off my ally's ass. And he's like, well, I can't keep up with that guy, and I'm about to get killed. Boom! He explodes. So I was pretty significantly outnumbered here and uh just kinda took them all on. There was like a SU-2 or something. It flew on, it flew forward to like our fleet. It was shooting at me before, but he knew he couldn't dogfight with a hurricane. So. And this is that this is that AI pilot who comes out of nowhere. That dude, I have no idea where he came from. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere on me and got some shots off. And then this guy does it too. And so I uh, reverse my turn to turn into him. I see that he's going to totally get an angle on I me. Mean, I do a little barrel roll there. So change up my flight path and dodge those shots. Whew, could have been bad. Well, then here's me that tighter turn radius of the British planes. And mm, he barrels too. He learned from the best. Okay. <laughs> oh god. I'm saying I'm the best and shit. Definitely not. Definitely not the best. I'm pretty decent at this game. Not the best. Uh <laughs> But yeah, just just get on people's asses with these uh British planes so easily. And his engine shot um he, he's just slowly dying now. And I'm just waiting for it. Bam. Took out his engine. Just making sure. I thought he might have, like, dropped his engine power and was waiting for me to fly by him so he could get a shot off. So I dropped my engine power as well. And, uh, there, there's an AI pilot again. And I was actually coming in the land where these AI pilots just fucking come out of nowhere on me. And here, I don't understand what he's doing. He, like, took off, and then he cut all of his engine power and just, like, slowly drifting down. And just kind of crashes there for me. Uh... So I'm not sure if I, like, took out his engine as he was coming up, or... I guess that's what I... I guess I took his engine out as he was coming up. Here's an I-53. It lands some good hits on me. This guy... There he actually took out my engine. My my engine's not my engine's not feeling too good. And uh, you see now, uh, yeah, my engines all shot up. My main fuselage is shot up now. Plus these destroyers and all these battleships have been shooting flak at me this whole time. And uh, I'm pretty much thinking I'm just gonna capture this base before I die. So I come in and land my badly, badly bruised plane. Ah, here it is. This is like an I-53 or IR or I-15R. Comes in straight. Somehow I don't die. Somehow this plane is still alive. I've captured the base, but my engine just died. And there was no way I was taking off again with the damage I had. Somehow still alive. And here I'm thinking, well, what the fuck? I might as well just wait the 30 seconds instead of just bailing out <laughs> and see if I. Then a destroyer just a destroyer shell just lands on me and uh, takes me the fuck out. So here I am with a Hurricane Mark One. Uh, back at spawn, respawned my. Uh, my next best plane. I haven't gotten far down the British line yet. 
Um, but I'm just, and I just recently unlocked this bit fire. Um, but yeah, from what I've seen so far, I mean, at least for early levels and stuff, these guys have amazing planes. Uh, the Hurricane Mark One only has 8:30 cals. I know it's not, it's not 12. It's just so sad and disappointing. I was, I was kind of blown away when I saw at level two. I can fly a plane with uh, eight machine guns on it. When uh, <laughs> like it's the German equivalent, you're flying a plane with two. You have two machine guns. They're 50 cals, but you still just got two on the, that that Italian the G50 series or whatever it is. And then they just recently unlocked a uh, low-level German planes in the German line too. Uh, I think it has. I'm trying to think of what the the equivalent level. I think the German equivalent still only uses two thirty cals. <sighs> I'm trying to. It might be two fifty cals. I'm pretty sure it's two maybe four thirty cals. I hope it's four thirty cals. It wasn't very impressive armament. And that's the equivalent level of this thing! It is eight! Ugh, oh, it's ridiculous. And then the Americans at this level, uh, they're equipped with 130 cal and 150 cal on the F2A1. Buffalo. <laughs> I mean, this maneuverability, this, this firepower, this armor protection, it's... It's ridiculous. Uh, those are those are the, those are the the trees I went down first before doing the British. Cause I recommended the British to the friend, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go up the British tree with him. He's he's kind of new to the whole flight sim thing, and uh, I knew that the British planes. Cause in, a, in an earlier flight sim, uh, Aces High Two, I played that, and when I first started that. I was getting all frustrated and shit because I was flying like American planes and some German planes and occasionally fly like a Spitfire or something. But then uh, I was playing on like a free-for-all server or something and uh, this guy kind of took me under his wing for a little bit and he recommended like the Spitfires. Start off like the Spitfire Mark V. And he's like, fly this for a bit. It's pretty maneuverable, you can turn fight in it real good. Starting that, turn fought, did some dog fights with it, it did pretty well, and he's like, okay, try the Spitfire Mark 8 now. This one has like more horsepower, has more powerful engines, it's faster, but it's heavier, so it doesn't turn as good. And he kinda worked my way up to like less maneuverable, more like speed oriented planes like that way. So that's kinda how I like climbed the the fighter tree was starting with British planes. So I started with British planes uh, on a different flight sim, and uh, I figured it'd be kind of the same as this one, so I recommended it to my friend, and, uh, and I started doing this tree with him for a little bit, and uh, I was impressed. Here, uh, we just shot down that AI. It was an AI pilot I just shot down before this, and then I did like the barrel rolls in victory because the game said like we won but the game was still going on. <laughs> and here I was kind of confused. And uh, they only had like one more plane up, and I think they just shot it down. No, it's out here. Okay. He just, this is the last enemy plane. Just shot down one of our planes, and now uh, everyone's kind of gunning for it. And I kind of get a on head. He damaged my engine a bit there. Sad face. Uh, but then he gets shot down. I don't think I got the kill for this. I certainly did enough damage, though. Yeah, he gets the kill right there. Um, and the game's still not over. I mean, they have they have no planes left. We have both the bases, and at this point, their their bar on like the like conditions, winning ticket things, their their bar is empty. And we still have like a third of ours or something. And I'm just like, uh, 
Okay. And they're they're off shooting at a battleship with like 20 millimeter guns, like they're gonna do something. Um, I don't know. Maybe the battleships are kind of new. Uh, I find I typically hardly ever do shit to warships with 20 mils. I know I'm definitely not gonna do anything with uh, 30 cows. No matter how many 30 cows you put on a plane, it's not gonna do anything to a boat. At least a warship. So, uh, yeah, my my engine's kind of shot, so I decided to land a bit. And uh, as I'm coming in for a land in here, the game finally ends. Um, but yeah, these British planes are crazy. Uh, there's uh, two games in a row I had with them. Uh, so uh, just showcasing the British planes a bit. Uh, it's a great game. Maybe a little bit of balancing issues, but they're based on actual, uh, you know, planes it's developed at around the same time for, for the levels and stuff. But, uh, these British planes, if you're having trouble and you haven't tried them yet, try British, and, uh, you'll probably have a much better time. Alright, it's Mac, I'm out. Thanks for watching.